My guest is Brooklyn-born and released his first album in 1983. Oh, and it charted immediately. This hit maker charted again with Sexy Girl, I'm in Love, Want to Make Love All Night Long, and more. He toured with, well, you'll find out in the interview. Please welcome to the Mark Berman podcast, singer, songwriter, what incredible talent. Please welcome Lilo Thomas. Lilo, welcome. Hey, Mark. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. You're growing up in New York. I'm sure you were listening to music. Who influenced you back then? Um, I was, well, I grew up, my, my dad was a, a, a preacher. So he, he really didn't uh, allow, you know, secular music in the house. So I was basically listening outside of home, like Sam Cooke, you know, and and Marvin Gaye. He had the musicians. I actually covered a few of their songs, and um, you know that was the kind of music that I like listening to. But at home, it was just all about you know gospel music. Oh, okay. Well, look, hey, awesome influences there. I can only think of like ten thousand names. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you? So you uh, released your first album in '83. Where'd you record that? I recorded it at a studio. It was a small studio in the city called Celestial Sounds, and um, that's I, I got with this uh, a production company, uh, Mighty M Production, and they had uh, Kashif and Paul Lawrence Jones was starting their careers there as well, and um, that's how I was able to. Uh, start uh, doing background vocals for people like Melba Moore and George Benson. And um, because Kashif was producing people and Paul was producing people, so I, I became like the uh, in-house uh, background vocalist. Yeah, but hold on. You wrote for somebody, too. Didn't you write for Melba Moore? Yeah, I wrote for Melba Moore. You know, after I was doing her albums, uh, Capitol heard some of the stuff and... Um, they they were looking for you know a song to kind of bring Melba into the eighties, and um, I wrote the song uh, "Mind Up Tonight" for her. Wow. <laughs> okay, that's and I, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, yeah, and I, it's also it did a duet. You know, I wrote a duet called "All of You," you know, for her and myself. Did you tour with a comedian? Uh, what was that guy's name? <laughs> ah, yeah, I toured with Eddie Murphy. We did over 64 cities and um you know he he asked me you know to you know if i would open up for him and i was like hey yeah because originally uh it was the bus boys that you know started his tour with him and then they had to leave for some reason and he asked you know can i um open up the tour so we we had a great time on that tour okay now you've toured you've worked lots of venues what's your favorite venue yeah What's your favorite venue to work? Where do you wish you could work every night? What is the best stage you walked out on? Um, probably Radio City. Oh, that's, I, a, I love that's a big one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Radio City was great. We, we did like, um, I think it was something like four, four or five shows at Radio City. So it was great to kind of, you know, be home and, you know, I could uh, go right to the city and, and perform, and then leave there, and come back home. That was just amazing. Have you ever performed at the Apollo? Yes, I did the Apollo with um, Alexander O'Neill and Sherelle. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was, so yeah, we we did the Apollo together. I'm from Philly, and I know that you mm -hmm. recorded with Evelyn Champagne King, a Philly girl. Mm -hmm. Did you ever play the Uptown? Uh, yes, I did the Uptown Theater in there. We did that with, um, I, yeah, I did the Uptown Theater. I'm from Philly. The Apollo is a, yeah. impressive, but when you tell me you played the Uptown, to me that's more impressive. Is there an artist that you would love to collaborate with today? Maybe Adele. I think I, I would like to do something with her. Wow. Okay. You said Adele. Wow, that's a... Uh... Yeah. Well, that took me back a, a, a second, <laughs> but uh, this <laughs> this is great. So now, you're recording again. You have a new single. Did you write it? 
yes, I wrote it and I produced it. And I was, I'm asking myself how, you know, to master my music as well, to mix and master it. So, you know, being that we, in the pandemic, you, you, you were home. So I figured, well, if I'm going to be home, you know, let me, uh, let me go to work on some things. So I, I, this was the first one that I actually wrote, produced, and mixed and mastered myself. Uh, and what's it called? Truth Be Told. You know, it's, it's, it's more of an inspirational kind of song. Now, so a little different than what I'm, I'm using pretty funky. Okay. So this is going to give us a bit of a message and inspire us. Absolutely. That's what, that's what it was put out there for. I think it, the times that we're in right now, we're in some, you know, really crazy times. And I felt that a song like this was very necessary. You know, it's all about, you know, your truth and, and knowing that you can be anything you want to become as long as you put your mind to it and go for it, you know. And where can we find this now to download it? It's on um, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon. It's all, it's all over the place. Are you working on a CD? Yes, I'm actually working. It's kind of weird to say CD these days, but yeah, I'm working on, um, you know, a, a full jacket, you know, music. You know, I don't know what they would call it these days, but yeah, there will be a, and I guess for the OGs, it, it will be an album. I was just going to say to you, I still call them albums. They'll always be albums. Mm-hmm. They don't have to be vinyl. Yeah. To me and you, they're albums. Uh-huh. We'll, we'll yeah, absolutely. You know, what, else, what else can you call them? <laughs> <laughs> now, we're here in Atlantic. Yeah. I'm here in Atlantic City. You've played Atlantic City, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, this is actually the last time I saw you, right? It was in Atlantic City. Yep, absolutely. We had a good time that day. Yeah, it was real nice. Yeah, very nice. I enjoyed it a lot. And we have to give a shout out to a mutual friend, Vanessa Jordan, who is just unbelievable, keeping the music alive. Yeah, she's great. You know, I, I, I'm very proud of what she's doing and very honored, you know, because right before that, I actually got an award from the, you know, from her music society. And, you know, I, I just appreciate it that she's, you know, keeping, you know, this music alive. It's so needed now because, you know, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of places you can't, you know, like our radio stations are going. And, you know, it's, 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 it's hard to, to get out and display your talents. And, you know, it's not like back in the days where you had, you know, the clubs, you know, I mean, here we had, you know, clubs, you know, every other block pretty much, you know, the Red Parrot, you know, it was, it was just, you could always be performing somewhere, where now it's just, it's pretty hard. We had a major club here, BB King, that actually closed a couple of years ago, and that was a really good place to perform. So it's, it's, it's getting harder, you know, to, to display your talents and to get people to hear your music. I truly understand. Here in Atlantic City, we have nine casinos, all with showrooms. But it seems that the right. entertainment coming in has been cut back a bit and not what it was. And we have yeah. a great showroom here. I don't know if you've ever played there, but if you haven't, Kelsey's would be perfect for you, man. Chelsea's? Kelsey's? Kelsey's. Yeah. I'll have to check that out. Kelsey's Kel- is Kelsey. a supper okay. club. And I got to tell you, uh-huh. not only the best pulled pork I've ever had in my life in cornbread, but. <laughs> but, <laughs> but <laughs> well, I'm there. <laughs> I'm going just for the poor part. Oh, really? Well, when you get to Atlantic City, we'll hook up. We'll take you there. I'd love to. I'd love to share some poor pork with you, man. Definitely. I love the poor pork. Kidding me? I love having you here on the podcast. And Lilo, where can we find you online? Oh, you can go to um, lilothomas.com. You know, and uh, basically that'll take you everywhere else. If you're into the other stuff, it's at Lilo Thomas. That's L I L L O T H O L I M A S. Yes. T H O M A S. And you can find everything there. In fact, you can find the downloads too of past CDs. 
albums yeah. and everything right there. And yeah, we every- hope to see you on tour. We hope to see you here in Atlantic City. And Definitely. Uh, I'm definitely going to get out there. I wish you all the best in the world. You know what? You're an awesome human being. You're a positive human being. I had just met you at the R&B Society event, and you're just a person that the minute you meet you, you know that you're just a good soul, and we need more of this everywhere. And I, I love you having so you on the podcast. I appreciate that, and thank you, Mark, for doing what you do because, you know, keeping this music alive and getting to know the artists. I mean, that's it's just a, a great thing, and I I thank you so much for that. And I thank you for your time today on the Mark Berman podcast. This is Lilo Thomas. Mark Gordon is tough about here. Sadly, that's not all. That's not all. Trying to get up to make it didn't matter. It didn't matter just because. Just because. Go to LiloThomas.com to download this and all of Lilo's music. And if you're looking for tour dates, it's there as well. The Mark Berman Show is always on. Go to MarkBerman.com for our podcasts of our past shows and interviews. The Mark Berman Show is always on. Go to MarkBerman.com for our podcasts of our past shows and interviews.